All right, here we are, back to with quadratics. Now, today we're going to talk about the quadratic formula. And what the quadratic formula does, it enables us to solve any kind of equation at all that is a quadratic when it is set equal to zero. So this kind of equation here is a quadratic because it's got x to the power 2. That's quadratic. And so if I ever want to solve it, quadratic formula will work. Because a lot of times it doesn't factor. A lot of times it may factor, but not necessarily. But if you get stuck, quadratic formula works. So let's go and talk about our quadratic formula. What it is, is it's just a formula where we have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Where the coefficient in front of x squared is a, this is b in front of x, and then c is the constant. And so you need, need to remember... This is the equation, quadratic equation, and this is the quadratic formula. And unfortunately, you have to learn this formula. But there's a neat little trick you can do, and you can, there's a song that goes with it, and first time ever on the internet, here we go for the song. I will sing you a version. I know about, th or I've heard about three or four versions. Here's a version that I know and love, and it goes like this. Minus b, minus b, plus or minus square root, plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, all over 2a. Oh, there, that catchy tune is Mr. Rops singing for you on the podcast. Make sure you tell me what a wonderful voice I have. All right, so let's actually use this quadratic formula in an example, and we'll, we'll check it with our calculator. So if I want <clears throat> to solve this thing, I know that my formula, quadratic formula, is minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so when I look at this, this value here, is a so I have a is equal to 5 b is in front of the x which is negative 3 and c is in front of is the constant which is negative 1 and the signs go with the coefficients so now it's just a matter of plugging in to the formula so x equals minus a negative 3 minus b plus or minus b squared so minus 3 Squared. Now put it in parentheses because that minus sign has to be squared. Minus 4, well, 4, 5, and then c is a negative 1. And all of this whole thing is over 2a. Okay. And now it's just doing some arithmetic, but be careful, it's messy arithmetic. So I get a positive 3 plus or minus. Well, minus 3 squared is 9, and I have 20. Two negatives make a positive, so plus 20 over 10. And so simplifying, I get 3 plus or minus the square root of 29 all over 10. And this here is the exact answer. There are two answers in here, a positive one and a negative one. So if I want to specifically show, well, 1 is 3 plus the square root of 29 over 10, and the other, or x equals 3 minus the square root of 29 all over 10. One of the things that I can do is I can find an approximate value of that. So if I go to my calculator here, if I go, I have to be careful, make sure I do it all right. I want everything on the top, so I'm going to go in parentheses. 3 plus the square root of 29, close parentheses. Oh, hold on. Back up here. Back that one up. Let's get out of the square root. And then we'll close the parenthesis and divide that by 10. And I get this is equal to 0 0.839 to three significant figures. If I go to the other one, 
I don't want to have to type that all over again, so a shortcut I can do is I can go second, enter, and it calls back my line. And now I can just go back to that positive sign and change that positive to a negative and hit enter. And this one here is equal to negative 0 0.2. Three, nine. So now <clears throat> I'm going to check these values if they're correct. Use my calculator. So I go over to y equals. Here's y equals, and I've already put it into my equation. And I'm going to. I want to. Let's graph and see what it looks like. Hmm, it's pretty close in there. So let's change our window setting. I'm going to zoom to a different zoom. I'm going to zoom to number four, which just makes it a little bit closer. I can see these numbers better. And I'm going to go second, calculate, and 2 is the 0. Now again, I'm going to find this one first. So my left bound, I have to be to the left of here. So I'm going to say left, I want to be left, uh, let's say negative 1. Note my arrow up here, it's saying on this side. My right bound will make it 0. And my guess is we'll say negative 0.2. And you will see that that answer fits exactly right there. Now, to get the other side, I'm going to second trace, do the zero. And now I'm going to pause here for a second. You should try with your calculator get the other one, make sure you get it right. Yeah, pause it, push the button, pause it. Yep, there you go. Okay. And now you're back. Let's do the left bound here. I'm going to say left bound is zero. Enter. The right bound will say two. And I'm going to guess at 1. And here is my 0 here on this side. And so now I can see that I have my answers as such. OK, there's the first example. <clears throat> it's all good. OK, here's the second example. Um, again, you should pause at this point and try this problem yourself. Okay, and then come back and check it along with me. So pause it as you go. Okay, I'm going to get my pen here. Now with this equation, I need to set it equal to 0. That's the key thing. So I'm going to rewrite it as 2x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. And so I need my a, my b, and my c. a is 2, b is the 5, and c is negative 2. Don't forget that the negatives, please. And that goes with it. And so now I get my formula. And I highly recommend the first maybe 10 times you do this, you write the formula down. That will help you memorize it. And so then you're, it'll be stuck in your brain. So here's the formula. And so I want to plug in my x values. I get negative b, which is negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 5 squared, minus 4 times 2 times a negative 2. Uh, this square root goes all the way over. Divide that by 2 times 2. I do this. Now, it's possible that this thing may factor. I don't even know. I even check. Usually what I do is I We'll try and do it quickly in my head. If it factors, great. If it doesn't, then I just go straight to the quadratic formula. Uh, so I get negative 5, plus or minus. Now I get 25, minus minus is a plus, so I get plus 16 all over 4, which will be negative 5, plus or minus. Oh, 25 and 16 is 41, I believe, over 4. So I get my two answers. One is negative 5. One is negative 5. Let me adjust here. Plus the square root of 41 over 4. Or... I get equal to negative 5 minus the square root of 41 all over 4. Now, as opposed to my calculator, I'm going to check it a different way. I'm going to check it on Wolfram Alpha. I love this site. It's awesome. I'm just going to type solve 
And my equation, what, what was my equation again? My equation is simply 2x to the power 2 plus 5x equals 2. And if I hit enter on that, here come up my answers. Let's see what it says. Okay, and so here's my one answer. And this is that. And here is my other answer, which is this one. Now, I can tell they are my answers. Oh, can I make them bigger? Yep, there we go. Because, well, this one here, it's a positive 41 and negative 5, and it's all times 1 quarter, which is all divided by 4. And so this one is the negative square root. And so I can see that it's negative 5, negative root 4. So these are the same thing. And that is using the quadratic formula. When you do the quadratic formula, it is good to make sure you double do a quick check to see if you can factor it quickly. Don't spend a lot of time, because that's the beauty of the quadratic formula. It's there, and it's always going to work. And that is it for today.